Before you begin, it's important to make sure you know exactly which pests you're trying to control and that you have as much information as you can get about them. I mean, things like a history of pest and disease issues, cropping temperatures, growing methods, crop growing cycles and so on. The more information you have before you start, the more you'll be able to target your treatment and the more effective it will become. Tip 1. Temperature. If you're growing your crop in an unheated house, there isn't much point in introducing any treatment if the average temperature is below 8 degrees Celsius. It's actually far better just to place sticky traps around the area, wait a few weeks and see what you catch. But around spring to early autumn, you can introduce biologicals at almost any time in that period as long as no long persistence insecticides have been used. Tip 2. Crop monitoring. Think about your pests. So, if aphids or whitefly were a problem last year, they were on a certain plant or in a particular area. Crop monitoring tells you when to start your control strategy. If you're not sure how to go about this, you can find information and guidance from the AHDB and biological control producers. When you contact your biocontrol supplier, ask if they have an advisor who can visit and help to set up a biocontrol schedule. All the biocontrol agents in commercial use have recommended rates of use. So, to help develop your programme, you will need to tell your advisor the size of the area to be treated, how the plants are grown, i.e. if on the ground, and if the ground is clean or covered in soil or weeds, if the plants are on a bench, are they on an open wire and covered with pillory matting, or an ebb and flood system? Is there any plant contact, or will the plants grow quickly to form a canopy? Tip 3. Pest thresholds. Pest thresholds are important. If there is no sign of a pest, but you have a history of certain pests, it is definitely worth introducing preventative measures or beneficials. Ultimately, it is far better to maintain a low number of pests than to try to control a thriving population. Consider the end result. Will plants still be saleable with dead bodies such as aphid mummies on them? One or two bodies is not likely to cause a problem, but a hundred or so becomes much more visible. Tip 4. Staff training. Staff training is vital. The more eyes you have looking at pest and disease issues, the better the overall results will be. Encourage your staff to speak up about possible problems before they explode into major problems. Tip 5. Log what you have used before. Previous and current pesticide use is important. Tell your advisor of any treatments that have or may be being used. A single application of certain products can terminate most biocontrols for months. Don't be put off by the complexity of biocontrol. There are numerous trained people that you can access who are all willing to help with your success. AHDB runs several grower meetings throughout the year that cover this and many other topics that will help you through the process. Look to our events page for more information. <laughs>